this is going to be the health and safety. Uh, it's a little bit boring, so while I'm reading it, you can have a look at a couple of Rankhouse engines. So, here we go. Health and safety. What follows in this video is my method of constructing an MDF garden railway wagon. The methods I use are mine and are purely a way to an end. The glues I use can and are dangerous if abused or wrongly used. May I suggest that any adhesives or glues that you decide to use are fit for the purpose you're going to use them for. Please read all the manufacturer's guidance notes that accompany them and follow them religiously. I've been building kits now for over 15 years. If it goes wrong, it's my fault, full stop. I don't want your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, mother or father contacting me and saying it's my fault their beloved one's got their hands stuck to the kitchen table and are waiting for the fire brigade to come because they watch my video. This video is shown as a demonstration of my method. You must follow it as you feel it's fit, correct and safe. Always use superglue in a well ventilated area. This is quite a major warning. Do not use a cotton or wool based cloth to wipe off superglue. It will react, it will smoke, it will heat up and may even catch fire. I use one type of wood glue, Evo stick wood adhesive. I list those three glues but obviously others are available. It's your choice, you may have a preference or from previous experience. You'll need some elastic bands, various sizes depending on which model you're going to be building. But a good average one is 70 to 80 diameter, that's millimetres, and it's about 2 millimetres thickness of rubber. You'll need a knife and other bits and bobs, general modelling knife, the ones with the break off blade seem ideal. A damp cloth is useful for wiping off excess glue, some kitchen towel or loo roll, 